Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris here with High Seas Cruising, and welcome to today's video. First up, I want to say, hope every dad, every father out there had a wonderful, happy Father's Day yesterday. Mine started off, got a text from my oldest daughter, first thing in the morning saying happy Father's Day. And of course, that just puts a excellent start on the day. Tiffany made me some banana pudding cookies. Never heard of those before, but they turned out delicious. And then a little bit of a chicken fried steak dinner to kind of top it all off. So I hope all the dads out there also had an excellent happy Father's Day. Next, we're going to hop over and talk about Goddess of the Night. Well, that is a cruise ship that was chartered by the Italian government for $6.5 million. Now, this ship was going to hold 2,600 security and police officers on board during the 50th summit of the Group of Seven. Okay, it was going to provide accommodations, was going to have access to the public spaces, and providing three meals a day. Well, that whole situation has just gone a little bit sideways because not only are these police officers not staying on board this chartered ship, the Italian government, well, they have impounded the ship. Goddess of the Night, currently owned by SeaJet. Well, this ship has been sitting since 2020, which means no passengers on board for over four years. And when the Italian government chartered it, they started putting people on board. They immediately started getting complaints and issues with the sanitary conditions on board the ship. They said, look, it's just generally, it's, it's dirty. It's nasty. There are water leaks in the cabin, making it unusable. Air conditioners aren't working. Toilets are backed up and not working whatsoever. And this caused local prosecutors to seize the ship and launch an investigation. Now, all of the officers that were going to be staying on board the ship, they have been moved to other local hotels. So no one's currently staying on board while it's un under investigation. Kind of makes you wonder though, did CJET not tell them, hey, this thing has been sitting for four years? Did the Italian government not know to ask? Have you done any maintenance on the ship for over four years? If it's been sitting for four years and honestly, nobody's been taking care of it, not really surprised it's having all of these kinds of issues. Not surprised at all it's having these types of problems. Now, Goddess of the Night is scheduled to resume service with Neonix Cruises, which is an adult-only themed cruise line that is starting up over in Europe. Their first sailing is supposed to be July the 15th. That is just a couple of weeks away. But from the sounds of this, this ship may not be ready. She clearly needs to go in have a little dry dock, have a little love, have a little attention before she is ready to have people back on board the ship. Now, someone is going to have to answer, obviously, for the way this ship showed up. It was not ready or capable of having guests on board. And the Italian government paid a lot of money to charter this ship to use as a floating hotel. So somebody well, they're definitely in a little bit of trouble. And finally, a little interesting fact I learned over the weekend. And maybe this is just new to me because this technology isn't new, but I just read about it and I bet other people probably already know about it, but I found it fascinating. I found it super interesting. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And this is going to be specifically for Royal Caribbean's Oasis class ships and Icon class ships. Because you know those are very large ships, the largest ships in the world. But there are times and occasions where they may have to fit under a bridge. And what I didn't know is they can actually make themselves a little bit shorter when they have to do that. Now y'all see on the top of the cruise ships, especially on those large ones, they have two funnels up top with the smokestacks or exhaust stacks sticking out on the top. I'm going to go ahead and throw a picture up here right now where you can see the one here on the left is a lot shorter than the one on the right. The one on the right is how they are normally are when they are out cruising, but on Oasis class ships and Icon class ships, they have the ability 
to lower those down. They are telescopic. They can actually collapse down into the funnel itself, reducing the overall height of the cruise ship. Now that is one way that they make themselves just a little bit shorter when they need to skirt under a bridge that they're able to get under. But there's also a second way. Just as they are getting up towards the bridge, they speed up the ship. Now the seabed is pretty shallow right there. And as the cruise ship speeds up, it creates a vacuum between the bottom of the ship and the seabed, actually pulling the ship further down into the water, reducing the overall height even more. Now, maybe I'm just a big old cruise ship nerd, but I find that kind of information and fact just utterly fascinating when I read it. And maybe I'm just late to the party and this is information that's been out there for a while because the Oasis class ships have been sailing for a while. But just in case you didn't know, I thought I'd share that with you today. And hopefully you find it just as interesting as I did. All right. And that is going to be our video for today. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.